Hi guys, Rano Kaz here again. Key steps to renovating in Adelaide. Step number three, adding value. So when it comes to adding value, one of the most obvious things we can do is to open up spaces, take down walls and create that really open modern style of living that everybody wants now. No one wants the sort of old closed off rooms that we used to have 50 years ago. But the flip side of that often is to create new spaces by putting walls up. If you've got an unusable space and you can turn that into a bedroom or a second living area, it can really turbocharge the value. You think about it, you turn a three better into a four better, massive value. It's really good to be aware of the latest styles and trends, but we don't want to be a slave to them. We want to create modern spaces, but we still want them to be neutral. We don't want to have anything that's going to turn our buyers off. We want it to appeal to as many people as possible. Equally, we don't want to go over the top with our fixtures and fittings. A thousand dollar tap is not going to add a thousand dollars in value to our property here in Adelaide. It's just not worth doing. So renovating 101 is things like our kitchens. So a, a really well-designed kitchen, lots of cupboard space, nice stainless steel appliances, modern bench tops. Bathrooms, we want nice big white glossy tiles. Again, storage, nice vanities, a nice big shower. Floors, if you've got floorboards under those daggy carpets, winner, polish them up. Otherwise, we'll put floating floors down. And a renovator's best friend, paint, paint, and more paint. And lastly, outdoor entertaining. For those of you who've watched my videos before, you know I won't buy a property unless there's scope to create indoor-outdoor integration. That can mean installing bifolds or sliding doors or French doors out to a really nice big deck or pergola where people can entertain family and friends. So make sure you come back next week for step four, which is all about managing your budget.